Hello, welcome to another video from SwanseaTechSupport.co.uk. This video is called Viewing Excel Worksheets and Presentations. Okay, I've received this spreadsheet from Mike. Uh, he's doing a fundraiser for the Macmillan Cancer Support Charity. And the way it works is that you've got different sponsors and throughout the evening they're going to be uh, scoring certain points. He wants to be showing this as a presentation up on a uh, projector and he just doesn't really know how to how to go about doing it. So the first thing I'm going to do is really a quite quick and simple way that you would use it most of the time. And we're going to uh, get rid of the taskbar first of all just because we've got a, a lot of uh, a lot of different uh, people here. We want to try and have this taking up as much of the screen as possible. So I'm going to just hide the taskbar. Go down to the taskbar and select right click and select properties. Then we're going to select the auto hide the taskbar and click OK. That will now hide the taskbar for us. Now the next thing we want to do is to actually set up a filter so that we can see who's scored up the most points. So to do that, highlight those cells, come up to data, and just click on filter. Now to find out who's got the most points, we can simply come onto points and select largest to smallest. And there we go, we've got 200 down to 66 there. Or if we want it back in the uh, team number, we can just select that one over there. So it's a nice, quick and simple way of doing it. Now to show this as a presentation, the way we'd normally to it is just to go onto the view screen and whack full screen there. Okay, so that's view screen, and then we've got the full screen here. We just select that and we got it. But the problem is it's got all the grid lines here, we've got lots of headings taking up real estate, and it just means that this information that we're actually trying to draw attention to just doesn't really stand out. So the way we'd normally do this is just to come in where it's got, it says show. We want to not show grid lines, so those taken away there. Not show the headings, so those go there. And we also want to hide this formula bar as well. And then when we go back to full screen, we've got it looking something like that. So that's that's uh, the first way you can do with this. And uh, the problem with this is that every time we show it we've got to reselect those and go back into everything not too much of a problem most of the time um, but if you're doing this a lot you might just want um, a nice uh, simpler way of uh, switching between the two and to do that we're going to uh, enable a macro so that when we um, go into full screen view I just haven't uh, done anything with those check boxes I just uh, touched the shortcut key which for me is uh, I've assigned the cookie control shift F and we've now got this. We've also uh, got rid of the sheet, whoops, the sheet numbers from the bottom there as well. It gives us just a little bit more space to work with. So if I press my other one, control shift N, that'll run the second macro which gets us back to normal. So the way to do the macros then and the way to input this into your documents if you're not familiar with macros is to come into the file menu here and you want to start enabling the macros so it's either file or the orb on the earlier versions but most of the places it's in the same most, most of the different versions of Windows it's in the same place um, and what you're looking for is the trust center so Excel options then trust center and then over here and this will be in the same place in uh, all the different versions it's going to be the trust center settings and then we're looking for the macro settings which is somewhere around the middle there. so in the macro settings you want to make sure that enable all macros is actually selected and that the trust access the VBA project uh, object module is also um, ticked and then we can come down select OK on that one and select OK on that and then whoops there's one thing I missed out there go back into options and you want to check that the uh, developer tab is uh, showing on the ribbon. So if you go over to the customized ribbon and then just make sure that the developer uh, tab there is checked so you can show that.
Okay, and now we're ready to look at the code. So if you go over to Developer and open up a new uh, Visual Basic window. Now if you double click on Module 1, uh, it should uh, load up a blank module for you where you can basically just cut and paste uh, this code uh, straight into there. If Module 1 isn't showing, then you can go down to Insert Module and then that'll give you a fresh module and you can just paste right click and just paste the uh, the code in there. The codes will be uh, so, well there'll be a link to the code beneath this uh, this video and you can just uh, download the code uh, just, well, just grab it straight from my website and just uh, whack it in here uh, so just cut it from the web page and paste it in. So the code is quite simple uh, we've got the active window here and I'm starting off with maximizing that. That's uh, a bit of work with the um, older um, versions of Excel. And basically just uh, it's the equivalent of taking this maximize button there and just uh, selecting that, uh, switching that on. And then the, uh, the grid lines, uh, we wanted to uh, hide those. We set the grid lines to false. The workbook tabs, which were the uh, sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3 at the bottom of the screen, we want those off, so I selected those to false. Uh, and uh, all the headings as well, we set those off, the uh, column and row headings. And then again, uh, with the application, I've done the same code as up here with the uh, window state, just maximizing the window, just double checking that, making sure that's... Uh, maximum uh, and then uh, full screen we want that then to set to true so it's in full screen mode this again is for the older uh, versions of Excel uh, where instead of having the ribbon they had the um, worksheet what's called the worksheet menu bar or the command bar and so I just want to hide that so I set that to false just in case uh, anybody should be using it from uh, older versions again and then the formula bar we want to set that off to false and then um, for the uh, to switch back to normal view then we're just going to take exactly the same code just reverse the values the exception being the uh, the windows we want these staying in uh, maximum so we can continue working with them in full screen uh, in uh, maximized mode uh, so the grid lines are switched, uh, switched back on, workbook tabs on, headings on, uh, full screen is now false because we switched that off, uh, the command bars are back and re-enabled and the formula bar is set uh, to back to on as well. So that's uh, that's the macro and then you just want, once you've got that in there just paste it in, just uh, press the save button there and then come out of the VBA editor and then all we want to do is just to assign a shortcut key to those uh, to those macros so if you go into the macros button on the developer tab go into full view go to options and I've set this to control plus shift plus F you can um, set it for whatever you like um, best to use um, the control shift options uh, so you don't override any of the normal commands and then for normal view I've done the same thing in options just put control shift and N to show that and then we have that and then now we've got my the shortcuts now I want to press control shift F that will maximize it all the grid lines are gone and I've got everything down to 16 there as well I can see it all uh, and now control shift N and everything's back. If you're doing this a lot um, and you um, don't want to keep copying this code into every um, every document you're working with, instead of um, doing here, you can actually um, you should have access to your uh, what's called a personal workbook. Um, so you should see more than one. Uh, thing up here and above this or I think maybe below it uh, should be the uh, personal project um, you can just take that and just drag that one into the uh, project you might want to just uh, rename it something like a presentation view and then if you just drag that into your personal workbook 
then uh, that will be available in every uh, workbook you open on that computer at least anyway um, and that's it okay so that's that macro um, hope you find it interesting and useful um, let me know in the comments okay thank you very much bye bye